Hey guys, it's the Flat Natural here and I am back with another video. So welcome to my channel. If you are new and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. And if you aren't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family because you'll like it here. So guys, I know it's been a little minute. Things got so busy around like my birthday and then the business relaunch. And then after that, I got sick and it was just a whole story, a whole thing. But I am feeling better now and I thought it would be a good idea for me to come on and show you guys my hair and give you a little bit of rundown and a little experience that I had with these because I was so excited to put them in. I made a whole video about how I prepped the hair. Look out for that one. That one will be coming um, sometime this week. But I had a whole video where I prepped the hair and everything and I had full intentions on recording me installing the hair. but stuff went left and it went left quick everything was just happening so i didn't have enough time but i do want to show you guys the hair so as you guys know i have been locked for three years um as of today my three-year anniversary was like maybe two days ago so i have to take these down to show you guys some updates on how my locks are looking at the three-year mark but i have been locked for three years and this is my first time throughout the entire process of me putting a style over my locks. If you guys have been following my journey, you know that I do a lot of different styles, but just with my actual locks, no extra extension here. And for my birthday, I wanted to, you know, go a little bigger, and I decided to do these twists. Now, these twists are 24 inches. When I first ordered them, um, when I first ordered the hair, I ordered 28 inches, but they sent me 24 inches, and it was just too much for me to try to just go back and switch it. But they are kind of long. They're like, this is my hip, so they're like, you know, at my hip, and at that butt, you know, they go to the little butt, too. I was having way too much fun during my birthday. I was just, you know, long ass weed, dizzy, tickled in my ass crack type shit, just dancing around in my cardi guys. But... Um, yeah, the hair is 24 inches and it's the color of the one B burgundy. I wanted to try to color, but I didn't want it to be too bright. So I think that this hair color is the perfect color for that vibe. And then if you look at it, the ends are like full burgundy, but throughout the top is like burgundy and a one B color, which I absolutely love. The initial installation took too damn long and i will say that it took me way too long to put these in my head and that's partially because when i first did them i initially did them with two strands of the hair now if you guys are familiar with marley hair you know that the strands come pretty much individually strand when it comes to like the marley hair and even twist hair and i used two of those strands to make um, the twist because I kind of wanted them to be bigger. I didn't want them to be small because I have small locks of my own. But when I first put it in, one when I first got it all in, I ran out of hair. When I got to looking at it, it was way too bulky. Now, when I got the hair, I had six packs of hair. When I first initially did the install, all six packs of hair were in my head. It was big, it was bulky, it was too much, and it was kind of heavy. It felt kind of heavy on my hair because. I did my retie and then maybe like four days later I ended up installing the hair which I don't think was a good idea I probably should have waited a week and let my retie settle in before I put the hair in but I was kind of low on time so I had to do what I had to do um, but it was really too big so what ended up happening is that I took it down and I split the hair from instead of me putting in two pieces I put in one and then I reduced the number of locks per um, twist and it gave me a nicer, fuller look that I was okay with. The one issue that I had was at the top of my head. I wasn't sure what I did at the top of my head, but you can see a lot more of the lock um, than what I actually wanted to show. I couldn't get it right to where I could have the end without all of the lock showing. But it was okay. The way that I wore my hair, you could barely tell. And I loved it. I love it. I think it is very reminiscent of like college year Terry because like if you guys if you guys know me personally or if you've been following my journey, you know that prior to me locking my hair, I wore my hair in Senegalese twist, 
all the time. Long snugglies, twists, or faux locks were my go-to. I'm not talking about the crochet faux locks. I'm talking about the locks you had to make them yourself wrapping the hair. That's all, that's how OG I am with this whole hair. Wearing the hair wasn't hard for me. It wasn't like a shell shock to me. It was a little bit you getting used to the length again because I'm used to my hair just being on the shoulders. So this hair being all the way down my back, I had to make sure that when I put on the clothes, when I went to the bathroom or when I did certain things, I actually have to have it off to the side and bunched all together or it will get everywhere. But other than that, I had no issues with the hair. I love the hair. I love the color. It did kind of turn me into like a little sass queen. I'm not even gonna lie. I was feeling myself on that. Like if my locks ever get this long, y'all not gonna be able to tell me nothing because I'ma just be doing whatever I wanna do because I do think it's time for me to take it down because I do miss my locks. Um, it's been up for two weeks, almost three weeks, and I wasn't intending on keeping it in this long, but I liked it, so I let it sit. Um, the one con I will say that I had with this hair is that maybe a couple of days ago it started to itch. Now, I did prep the hair. I soaked it with an apple cider vinegar mixture so I can get the um, chemicals off of the hair, and I actually washed it as well. And it really kept its wear for like the first two weeks that I had it in. I didn't have any itching, no no issues, nothing. But now I think it's time for me to take it out because I am getting a little bit of itching and I'm getting some flakes going on. And yeah, I'm, I'm about to take this out so I can wash it and then I can see how my lovely, lovely locks are doing because I do miss those. Um, will I do this style again? Definitely. Um, yeah, I definitely will do the style again. Like I said, I love it. It's, it's, it's real reminiscent of back in the day, Terry. It gives me a little sass. It gives me a little attitude. And you can't tell me nothing with this length of hair. Like, it's a wrap. Like, I'm that girl. I was feeling like that girl my entire birthday weekend, especially the since I had my crown on because I was a queen. Your girl had turned 30. So I was really just doing my thing and I was having so much fun. And this style pretty much just elevated me and my, my confidence and everything. And it's really making me want to dye my hair. I'm not even gonna lie, this color is really what did it for me. The color is what's doing it for me. And if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I mentioned that I was kind of getting semi bored with my hair and I want to make a change. And I think, don't quote me on this, but I think I might actually consider just dyeing my hair because this, this is fire. So if I can get this similar color payout with my locks, I would definitely plan on being a baddie so i'm planning on playing with different styles of my styles with my hair so be on the lookout for that but this style in particular i love it it was simple it was easy to do um the installation was easy it wasn't necessarily quick but it was definitely easy and it's something that anybody can do and i like it i think it turned out really well and like i said i definitely am going to do this style again if you guys are interested in more information about my hair please leave any questions that you have for me down below give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed and i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace.